out of bed and off to Kmart I go. I got a lot of work ahead, but it's reassuring to know that I've got a good job, I'm making good pay, but that's not where the story ends. The people I work with at Kmart are folks on whom I can depend. Kmart's come to count on us for over 26 years. We got our start in Forest Park. We moved and it's still clear that here in Noonan we're making our own job security. So if you ask me now, I'd have to say it's a really good place to be. Yes, the Kmart Distribution Center in Noonan is a really good place to be. Kmart Associates are working together to build and uphold our reputation as one of this company's top distribution centers. In 1967, when Kmart Corporation decided to build a warehouse in Forest Park, Georgia, things were a lot different, a lot smaller, a lot more difficult. But Kmart had a vision of the future one that foresaw the largest, most efficient, and technologically advanced distribution center in the Southeast. And when they moved the Forest Park operations to a brand new facility in Noonan, Georgia in 1978, Kmart was on its way to fulfilling that vision. It's no surprise that over the years, Kmart has earned a reputation. The reputation of being one of the best places to work in Coweta County. Kmart has set the standards not just for quality and productivity, but for steady employment, good pay, and benefits to their associates. For more than a quarter of a century, our associates have been proud to tell their friends and families, I work for Kmart. They are proud of the reputation that they have built here together. And this pride continues right up to today, and a job at Kmart in Noonan still means good pay, benefits, and security. It is amazing when you consider that almost half of us have been with Kmart for over 10 years, many for 15 years, and some walked through the doors of the brand new Noonan Center back in 1978, having already been at Forest Park for 10 years or more. Our sons and daughters have grown up supported by secure Kmart jobs. Some have come to work here themselves to continue the tradition. That heritage that commitment to excellence, that know-how and dedication is an investment we have made in our future. It was a good investment. Kmart has lasted and has had a profound positive effect on the quality of life in our community. That was part of Kmart's original vision, too. But now, even that vision is being challenged. Not by someone who wants to improve our service to Kmart stores and in the process increase our ability to make life better for ourselves, no, the challenge is coming from a group of people who don't care about service and who make their money by taking it out of the paychecks of other people, hard-working people, people like you. We are, of course, talking about the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. On Tuesday, December 21st, you will have to answer this important question. Union or union-free? What's best for you and for those who depend on you? The decision will be the most important event in our distribution center's history. As we stand at this crossroads, it is important to reflect on both the future and the past. Associates here have had and done a lot of good things over the years. But let's take a moment to reflect on what we haven't had and what we haven't done for 26 years. These are the things that are easy to overlook, but are just as important to think about. Without a union in our D.C., no associate here has ever had to join a union just to get a job here or to keep their job. No associate has ever had so much as a dime taken from their paycheck to pay dues to a union. No associate has ever had to surrender the right to speak for themselves and turn to outside union agents to do it for them. And perhaps most important of all, no associate at our D.C. has ever had to spend a single minute on a union strike 
and run the risk of being permanently replaced. 26 years of freedom from such concerns hangs in the balance of this election. So before you make this very important decision, let's think about unions carefully. By now it should be clear that the Teamster organizers would prefer that you go into the voting booth knowing only one side of the story. Otherwise, they would have told you honestly and openly that the Teamsters have lost over half a million members' jobs in recent years. They would have warned you that the Teamsters is the most corrupt union in America, and they would have showed you that even Ron Carey is suspected of having ties to organized crime. If the Teamsters wanted you to know the whole truth, they would have freely admitted the cases where the union has violated the rights of their own members. They would have shown you their financial statements, telling how the Teamsters are desperate for money and may be about to go broke. They would have told you that Teamster leaders plan to raise members' dues. If they wanted you to know the truth, they would have told you the Teamsters pension fund owes $2 billion to future retirees that it doesn't have. They would have told you that a worker who contributes to the Teamster pension fund for less than 10 years gets nothing in return from the union. A union that wants its members to be able to choose for themselves would have shown you their international constitution and local bylaws with the rules, regulations, disciplinary actions, and provisions to ensure that union leaders always have control. But the Teamsters have done none of these things. Instead of facts, the Teamsters have tried to scare you and make you believe Kmart is a bad place to work and that the Teamsters can fix everything for just $28 a month from each of you. The most important way to determine the truth of union promises is to look at what they have gotten employees who already pay union dues each month. Employees at Allied Paper in Gainesville, Georgia, believed the union's promises. In December 1988, the employees voted them in. Management and the union met 19 times over the next year without coming to agreement on a contract. Employees at Allied learned that once a union is in and the bargaining begins, everything you have now wages, benefits, working conditions, everything goes on the table. Bargaining is a game of give and take, and when the game is played, associates could end up with more. They could end up with just what they started with, or they could end up with less. At Allied Paper, management proposed in bargaining to cut employees' wages and eliminate their retirement and savings plan. The union filed a charge claiming that the employer was bargaining in bad faith. The National Labor Relations Board in Atlanta ruled against the union, so the union appealed to the NLRB in Washington, which also ruled against them. The NLRB said that an employer can use collective bargaining to negotiate for lower wages and less benefits as long as it states a reason. What was Allied Paper's reason? Why did the NLRB say that Allied Paper could propose cutting wages and benefits? because other unionized plants within the company already had lower wages and benefits than the Gainesville plant, and Allied Paper wanted to bring the Gainesville employees in line with what the union had agreed to at other unionized plants. If forced to negotiate with a union here in Noonan, a warehouse company could point to three things to justify bargaining for lower wages and benefits. One, Coweta County wage and benefit rates. Two, Teamster warehouse rates in the area and three, the rates at the Kmart Apparel Distribution Center, which the union has already mentioned in three or four of its handbills. Let's stop and look at these three important comparisons. First, associates at Kmart in Noonan already beat the Coweta County rates. According to the 1993 Georgia Manufacturing Wage Survey, the average top warehouse rate reported in Coweta County is $9.67 per hour. That's almost $4 an hour less than the warehouse rate at Kmart Noonan. The most significant unionized employer in Coweta County is James River Corporation. Kmart Noonan beats James River on wages. For example, our warehouse associates who drive forklifts can earn $13.65 per hour, while a James River forklift operator earns $11.50 per hour. That's $2.15 less per hour and $86 less per week. James River employees have had no increase. That's right, no increase for the past three years under their union contract. What about the second comparison? Retail distribution center and warehouse rates the Teamsters have negotiated in the Atlanta area. 
Would the Teamsters bring in Atlanta area Teamster contracts for companies in our industry? Well, that would make sense, but it might not be a very powerful bargaining tool. You see, without a union, most Kmart associates can earn a rate of $13.65 and a skilled maintenance rate of $14.90. But Local 528 agreed to lower rates at all of these Atlanta area distribution centers and warehouses, sometimes $3 and $4 an hour lower. At Sperry and Hutchinson, the S&H Green Stamps warehouse in Lawrenceville, Georgia, Local 528 negotiated a top rate of $11.34 per hour, or $2.31 less each hour. And when you subtract 13 cents per hour to pay their monthly union dues, their rate drops all the way to $11.21, or an after dues difference of $2.44 more each hour for Kmart Associates. At Southeastern Bonded Warehouse, the Teamster negotiated rate is $9.94, or a full $3.71 less each hour, and $148.46 less each week than Kmart Warehouse Associates. At Raylock in Atlanta, the Teamster top rate is $10.90, or $2.75 less each hour than Kmart Associates. The warehouse rate negotiated by Local 528 at Atlanta Gaslight is an improvement over the others at $13.01. But it still falls 64 cents per hour short of what Kmart associates make and 79 cents less each hour when union dues of 15 cents per hour are deducted. The list goes on and on, but of the seven Teamster contracts we could get copies of, you can see that you have accomplished much higher wages without a union than they could with the Teamsters. In fact, the average rate of all seven of these warehouses is $11.55. And when compared to Kmart Associates warehouse rates, Kmart Associates earn, on average, $2.10 per hour more, or $84 each week, and $359.10 each month more than the top Teamster warehouse employees working under these seven contracts negotiated by Teamsters Local 528. And what about benefits? Without a union, Kmart Noonan Associates have 10 holidays, on average, Local 528 has negotiated less than 10 for members covered by their contracts. When Local 528 bargained for employees at Sperry and Hutchinson, Southeastern Bonded Warehouse, Raylock, and Atlanta Gas Light, the union settled for a maximum of four weeks vacation. Right now, without a union, you get up to five weeks. And speaking of time off, going into negotiations, Kmart Noonan Associates would have the generous bank of hours benefit they earned without a union. But if the Teamsters negotiated a contract for you like they did for many other employees in the Atlanta area, there would be no sick or personal leave time off with pay. Or if there was, the time is much less than Kmart provides now. For example, at GTE Products, an employee can receive only up to six days of sick leave, provided he or she has worked for 10 years. The Teamsters have made a lot of promises about insurance in this campaign, but the proof of what the Teamsters can and cannot do is in the contracts. Many area Teamsters contracts do not have dental insurance or long-term disability. These benefits are provided at no cost to Kmart associates, including full coverage for their families. The Teamsters in recent years have again and again negotiated contracts where employees must pay part of the insurance premium in addition to co-payments. Examples include Atlanta Gaslight, where $159 per month must be paid by the employee for his family to have insurance coverage. And at Southeastern Bonded Warehouse, $30 per month. Atlanta Dairy's employees at their Lawrenceville distribution center look at their new Teamster contract only to find their premium payments had gone up for individuals and for family coverage. And at the same time, the Teamsters had agreed to no wage increases for shipping warehouse employees. At Kmart, associates pay no premium for their insurance or the insurance for their families. And our insurance benefits are still much better than the Teamster negotiated plans for which Teamster members pay as much as $159 per month. Costly monthly premiums paid by employees, not the companies, and going to the Teamsters to administer all the time with less benefits for employees than Kmart associates receive without even paying premium costs each month. The point is that the Teamsters are making promises knowing full well that when it comes time to negotiate, 
they have little or no support for their positions. It's easy to see why the Teamsters have made a lot of noise and attacked Kmart repeatedly, but have refused to put up their warehouse contracts for your review. All of these contracts are available in the Information Center for your review. Kmart associates also have to worry about what might happen if the Teamsters could get hold of their pensions. The Teamsters Central States Pension Fund is seriously underfunded to the tune of almost two and one half billion dollars. Kmart associates would have to log at least 10 years of new service under the Central States plan to receive any additional pensions. All the money paid over to the Teamsters by Kmart would go to Teamsters officials and would help their underfunding. It would not be available to a Kmart associate who left any time during the next 10 years. Because the administrative expenses associated with the Teamster plans are so high, the same company contributions that are being made now will provide a lower payout at retirement than you would otherwise get if you stayed with the current Kmart plan. Uncertain future, longer vesting, lower payout. And the Teamsters ask you to pay dues for the privilege. Can it get any worse? Yes, the Teamsters usually do not negotiate a 401k savings plan. In fact, Local 528 went in to bargain the first contract for the employees of Sherwood Medical in Decatur this year. Then Local 528 proceeded to bargain away the 401k the employees already had. The Teamsters get their number one ranking as the worst union, largely because of the way they give away employee benefits to get union dues check off and super seniority in their contracts. But what about the third item a company negotiating with a union would point to? Wouldn't it be the wages and benefits at the closest unionized facility within the same company? You have heard a lot about the distribution centers at Mantino and Greensboro and how they have rates of $9 per hour. These are the only two of Kmart's 12 hardline distribution centers which are unionized. And at Mantino, that question and whether there will be a union or another election is still up in the air. There are, however, six apparel distribution centers in the Kmart system. They are all unionized, and the closest one to Noonan is in the building in Forest Park. The associates there pay union dues each month to the ILGWU, the International Ladies Garment Workers Union. And what has it gotten the 457 associates working at warehouse jobs similar to yours? Well, not much when compared to Noonan Associates who rejected unionization in the 1980s. Teamster handbills have talked about how much you need a union contract and about the union's contract at Kmart's Forest Park Distribution Center. But they fail to tell you the most important part, that most warehouse associates there need a $3.65 per hour raise to catch us. That's right. 376 unionized warehouse associates at Forest Park earn less than $11 per hour, or $3.65 less than Noonan Associates earn. Most of the remaining 81 warehouse associates earn between $11 and $13 each hour, and only two associates earn more than $13 per hour. The National Labor Relations Board has affirmed this message to anyone considering a union. Collective bargaining is potentially hazardous for employees, and that as a result of such negotiations, employees might possibly wind up with less after unionization than before. No one can ever say what might come out of negotiations, because no one knows for sure. One thing is for sure, when you look at our accomplishments as Kmart Associates, we beat the Coweta County average by $4. We beat what the Teamsters have negotiated at seven Atlanta area warehouses by $2.10 per hour. And we beat the unionized Kmart distribution center in our old building at Forest Park by $3.65 per hour. And we are going to beat the Teamsters on December 21st because it makes no sense to put what we have now at risk through Teamster negotiations. No, a Teamster promise is not a guarantee. The Teamsters could not guarantee the job security of hundreds of thousands of their members. One out of every three Teamster members has now lost his job. It got so bad that the Teamsters' own office employees at Teamster headquarters wanted guarantees against layoffs in their contract. Teamster officials allowed no such guarantees in the contract, saying it would be irresponsible to guarantee that no layoffs would occur. Compare that to Kmart Noonan. 
Without a union, we have maintained steady employment for the vast majority of associates over the years. And Clint, Frank, and Ken can and have guaranteed that Noonan Associates will not be laid off and replaced by temporary employees. Here's the bottom line. At Kmart, you have a good job and a good future. As we face the challenges of the days ahead, we have a tradition of 26 years to learn from. Our jobs, preserved, improved, increased over the years, are the proven result of working with, not against one another. The Teamsters didn't create our jobs and they won't help preserve them. That's up to us, as it has always been up to the Kmart Associates. As we stand at this crossroads, on the verge of what could very well be the most important decision you will ever make about your work life, remember the key to our working future will not be found in the Teamsters Union. Instead, it will be found here, and here, and here. Yes, just look around. Look around and you'll see that we have 26 years of reasons to vote no. So that's the story about Kmart of service and quality. We've got the chance to move ahead. It's up to you and me. I can count on Kmart. I'm already on the team. I'm a part of Kmart and that's what counts to me. The deal we have at Kmart is up there among the best. We work hard together and never settle for less. So when I say I'm with Kmart, I can say it proud, you see. I know I can count on Kmart, and that's what counts to me. Kmart Noonan, Kmart Noonan, a really good place to be.